this video let's see uh, how to import uh, images to react project and uh, how to set up uh, several page components as well right so if you uh, go to the apple's website you can see uh, these sort of components so this is like a, a main banner and there are sub banners and there are other components as well so let's see uh, how to create this sort of a component inside our project so what we have to do is simply go to the components and uh, i'll make this as uh, let's see banners and let's say main banner dot yes so rfce and i will close others and inside the home page i will call main banner and i will place like this okay now if i go to the home again i can see main banner component over here okay so now uh, let's have some sort of a title like this some sort of links and some sort of a picture like this so uh, i have already downloaded uh, several images so i will simply copy those stuff and go to my react project and uh, inside the public folder i will make this as uh, images and paste those images over here okay then uh, i can uh, go to the main banner again and I can import that image. So let's say I'm going to import this Apple banner image. So simply I have to provide a name. So let's say Apple banner uh, from uh, one outside public folder and the images and the apple banner dot jpg okay so now i can specify an img component as usual with the src of this image reference and with some alter image let's say main banner image right so now i can okay uh, images okay i think we can't uh go outside this directory so yeah it's better keeping <coughs> files inside the src file right otherwise uh, we will have several uh linking issues okay um so now I can move one directory back maybe. So I don't need this public stuff. Uh, or should I? Okay, image just then upper banner dot jpg okay now it works and if i go to the chrome now you can see that image like this uh, but it gives me some sort of a error uh, alt attribute screen ready uh, tag Uh, yeah, so you don't need to specify these names inside your alter property. So these warnings comes under ESLint package that uh, rely on this React project. So warnings are basically, uh, it, it doesn't throw any errors, but it's better having 
no warnings at all uh, but uh, even if you have warnings you can continue your development but uh, with with the errors obviously you have to fix those stuff right uh, yeah so our image is there and uh, let's make this uh, background bit more gray then we can see the changes easily okay now as you can see the image is in the left side so what we can do is make this image for the center um, uh, let's just extra and by center so I don't think we need flex row. Yes, this is the center. And uh, let's make this image kind of uh, small. Let's say 500 pixel. Okay, that's too small. Uh, let's say 1000 pixel maybe. Mm, no, maybe 800. Okay, now it seems quite okay. And uh, we need uh, several text in the uh, in the upside of this image. So let's make a p tag and let's say iPhone uh, maybe 40, right? Then um, let's say. Uh, some quality and performance yeah things like that but you can see all the text are falling on onto the uh, left side because uh, we haven't specified what sort of flex formation that we require so in this case I need flex call uh, maybe with, let's say with the gap of three okay now uh, this text can be make much more bigger so let's make it as 4 pixel maybe and uh, maybe 50 and let's make it as font symbol okay then now uh, uh, about this one okay so uh, maybe line height okay uh, we make this as font light or maybe thin we both use the same sort of effect and let's make this as the LG. Okay, I think uh, it's quite okay, and I'll remove this gap. Okay, now it has sort of a quality overview. Then uh, I think we can remove this temporary uh, gray background as well. Okay, now you can see it has a uh, nice looking band. And uh, we can give some sort of a padding. So let's say P Y B three. Okay, looks great. So if you go to this website, you can see it is somewhat similar, right? It is not the exact same. I, I don't want to make the exact same one. I just wanted to showcase you uh, the power of React, right? Uh, okay, it's like that. Then uh, you can see these sort of links are there. So what we can do is we can make these links as well. Right? So I can go to this page and uh, under this tag, let's make some links. 
uh, yeah so now we know how to make this modularized compound therefore i will make a, a modularized link to this uh, page right then we can use that same link over and over again without creating it uh, so i will name this as links and let's say standard link .js and rfce and go to the main banner and i will import standard link and i will call it over here right now this is standard link is over there now we can do the uh, changes so import now link and i can make this as a link with the two so i will make the two as path and name as name so this is the name and this is the path right now if i go to the main banner standard link and the path is basically uh, uh, any path you want actually uh, let's say um, i don't know let's say iphone flash iphone 14 maybe right and uh, name is required so name is uh, let's say uh, learn more right learn more okay now uh, if you click this one it will go to this page but obviously we don't have this page so it doesn't show anything but yeah you can see how it works and uh, we can add stylings as well so i can go to this standard link and uh, yeah uh let's add several stylings so let's make this as font semi bold and maybe text uh, large or maybe pixel and uh, text blue maybe 800 or maybe 100 and text or the line right but uh, we, we don't need this underline by default but we need this when we are over on it like this right so also text color can be changed when we are hovering as well so hover let's make it as 900 and uh, we can make a smooth transition so transition all and uh, let's say is in and out right now you can see there is a smooth transition right so if you go to this website you can see exact sort of a view over there uh, but uh, let's add another link as well so what you have to simply do is simply duplicate this one so it will give a new component like this say but uh, let's make this as but you can see the alignment is different so i will cut these two together and place inside a tube which has flex flex pro with the cap on and maybe we can have some sort of e file as well all right so now you can see exact sort of a uh, we view that we have created 
right so that is how we create a component uh, inside a web page and apply the uh, uh, stylings that you require right so uh, yeah you can play with these uh, stylings whatever you want so i just wanted to showcase you what are the capabilities of react right so now we have created a banner like this uh, then uh, we can create uh, more components uh, as well so since we have uh, several images i will showcase you how to create those stuff in the uh, next video okay so uh, yeah thank you